4 today, we're playing Resident Evil 4 Remake on an Apple M1. This is pretty different. I normally don't do stuff with iOS or macOS, but this game is new. It just came out, and on PC and on consoles, it came out this year as well. So I thought it'd be fun to test it out and compare the two. For this video, I'm using a MacBook Air, the M1 version. It's the base model with 8 gigs of unified memory. This laptop doesn't have a fan, so it's passively cooled, so keep that in mind. It will get hot, so hopefully it does play at a decent frame rate. I've been playing this for about an hour or two, just playing with the settings, seeing how they work and how it performs. And yeah, it does get tough in some situations. Oh yeah, last thing before we get started, I want to speak about the overlay. So the first row has our chip and our resolution, and then our refresh rate. The third row has the FPS, and in the brackets, it's the minimum and the max FPS. The pre, or the thing that's in blue, that's our frame time. And again, our minimum and our max. And for the fourth, it's the GPU. So again, it's the GPU time and the minimum and the max. Lastly, our memory. The white is our system memory, and the green is our VRAM. All right, going to the settings, we're playing at 1080p and with the quality preset. So with that, apply. And for upscaling, we are using the quality preset as well. There we go. Okay, let's get into it. And in the game, guys, we're sitting at around 17 FPS up to 18 FPS. Let's do a double check on our memory though, because we are using far more now. And in the memory, we are using about 1.6 gigs of swap. Not good. We're going to be seeing a bunch of stuttering happening as we go through. Walking through, again, a stable FPS of 15 to 17. Haven't felt any stutters yet, which is nice. But regardless, the FPS is pretty poor, so not very playable as of now. Walking to the house, the game did stutter a couple times. Yet the game is lagging like crazy now. FPS is falling quite heavily as well. It's below 10 for sure at this point. It's like 5, I think. Yep, we're still falling at 7 FPS now. I can't play the game. It was decent before. Again, like near 20 FPS, but now it's a slideshow. Okay, let's pause it here and bring the metal effects upscaling to performance and go again. All right, using performance upscaling, we are sitting in the mid-20s. Not great still, we are indoors and indoor areas are normally a lot easier to run. So we'll see as we go, but in the high 20s and the low 30s so far. And I can't feel any stutters as of now. All right, let's go through here. It's gonna be a cutscene. I can't ever kill this guy on Mac. The mouse inputs aren't as good. I think this is definitely a controller game. If you're playing on an iPhone or an iPad slash a Mac. So yeah, the stutters are back guys and FPS is down into the mid-20s like before. This is very choppy guys. Unplayable pretty much, but I'm not surprised. Okay, outdoors in the low 20s slash the mid-20s. It could be decent for some, but the main issue again is the stutters. Let's just make our way through here. I want to show you guys the latest scene where the FPS just tanks. So I'm going to run past these enemies. The input lag is insane, guys. I am barely doing anything and the mouse is going crazy. And yeah, the FPS tanks below 10. And the stutters are back. So yeah, the max settings is unplayable if you have 8 gigs of memory. But if you have more, then it will be fine. So you guys, 4 FPS right now on average. Let's back out and bring our texture resolution down. To medium and try again and back into the settings guys let's bring the texture quality down to medium and 0.5 megs of usage oh i said megs i meant gigs there we go 0.25 i'm gonna restart the game and come back in and i do want to mention guys that for our temperature it is sticking to 70 degrees celsius the whole way through so at this point i'm expecting the fps to be in the 20s on average and the stuttering should be happening far less all right in the game guys fps wise again very similar to before it's gonna run through but again the main thing is the stutters as you guys saw before at the house, it did fall down to like 4 FPS on average. And this time, near the house, it's playing fine. And for the memory usage, just in case, it's now down to 500 megs instead of 1.6 gigs. It's still not ideal, but a lot better. All right, performance in the house isn't great still. We are sitting in the mid-20s and the low 30s, and the game does stutter here and there as well. Oh, and also, for the quality of the upscaler, it does look decent, but I can see some shimmering, and the game does look low res in some areas. So yeah, so far, the game is feeling much better. It's not as stuttery, but the FPS is still less than ideal. And back here again, we are sitting at 20 FPS, which is fine, but there's gonna be dips below 20 to around 18 FPS. Now time for the balance preset. Here we are with that. And finally in the game, let's do a check on our memory. And now it's sitting at 780 megs of swap. This area isn't too intensive. And same goes with the indoor area. I just want to see if the game stutters because we are using more of the swap memory. And going inside, the game isn't stuttering or lagging at all so far, which is nice. Anyone home? 
but sadly the FPS is just far too low at 20 FPS pretty much. So yeah, on average around 17 to 20 FPS, not great, but let's go ahead and use performance upscaling again and go again. And now we are in the high 20s slash low 30s. Again, we are indoors, so the FPS is gonna fall once we go outside. This keyboard though is getting pretty hot, guys. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not hurting me or anything like that, but not ideal for me to be honest. I wanna have a cooler keyboard when I'm touching it. That's weird to say. All right, yeah, 24 FPS, guys. A bit lower than the indoor section. And yeah, it's gonna fall below this once we get to the, the fire pit. We should see the FPS fall even further. So yeah, let's back out, guys, and play at the lowest setting, which is the default for this computer, and see how we do that. And now time for the lowest settings. We're using Full HD for the cutscenes. So it's gonna be above 30 now, which is nice. And everything else is set to the lowest preset, I believe. Maybe over the rest of the settings. And let's disable lens distortion as well. Cool. Sadly, in the game, we are sitting at 24 FPS up to 27. It can hit the 30s, but at 1080p, it is struggling a little bit. Now, it could be due to the heat. As the heat builds up, our SOC will clock itself down and get slower and slower until it's at a stable temperature. So if you are playing this in a hot room, your FPS might be lower than this. And if it's in a cooler room or if you've got a fan, it might be a bit higher. And yes, sadly, at the pit fire, we are sitting in the low 20s slash the mid 20s. So a slight FPS bump over medium. Lastly guys, our final hope, we're playing at 720p, lowest settings with performance upscaling. I think the heat is definitely the issue here. It can't cool itself properly, it doesn't have any fans, so our performance will drop as we keep playing. But at the same time, we can't be too upset about it because it is, again, a MacBook Air, which isn't really targeting any gaming at all. Oh, so yeah, 30 FPS slash the mid 30s at the start, that is nice. That is like a 10 FPS gain pretty much from what we had before. And the game looks decent, not great, but it does look decent and playable. And the FPS guys, much better. Alright, indoors, we're almost at 60, guys. That is nice. That is much better. Wow, 80 FPS there at the door. Feels so much more responsive at this point. It actually feels usable on a keyboard and mouse. So although we can get above 30 FPS with this preset, I would ideally still use a 30 FPS cap, just to have the most stable and consistent experience possible. And lastly, at the pit fire, we had a bunch of stutters, but the FPS is now sitting in the mid to high 30s. So yeah, there we go. That is the first Mac video done on Resident Evil 4. Again, I wouldn't personally play on a base MacBook Air. It's playable, but it's not ideal, you know? If this is all you have, then obviously it's playable for you at 720p at the lowest settings. But it really comes down to you and if you find this playable or not. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Next video. See you guys then.